Mr. Hamdi will begin the floor. You are a member in the committee that's uh, working on the consumer protection for years. I'm sure that you have seen wonders. In fact, well, I have seen wonders, yes, while being a member in the board for six years. I've seen so many strange things. Um, it was funny in many cases, in fact. But what I want to say is that any law needs to strike a balance between two uh, people, but uh, between two sides. But this law needs to be biased to the consumer, in fact. Uh, and sometimes uh, people at the beginning say, we want some uh, protection, some law for the protection of export importers, in fact. So when uh, this law was um, uh, first enacted, it was enacted by uh, the Ministry of Industry. But for the new law, they said it's the, the, the uh, cabinet it's written the cabinet, in fact, but as what has been said by Dr. Abla, it is the Ministry of Supplies. The regulation will go to them. If you look at the Ministry of Supplies, what is the relationship? I don't see it, in fact. If you look at the number of complaints that we receive, it's either because of locally manufactured products or imported. There are some things. Because people uh, do not come to complain that uh, the, the vegetables they bought was uh, rotten, in fact. But it is, uh, they may say it's missing, it's not there. So mainly it's an industry issue. The Ministry of Industry that shall be involved, not the Ministry of Supplies. So one of the biggest defects and faults in this law is that you don't have a technical ref reference for, for it. So if we have any dispute about uh, any uh, vehicle, a car, anything to whom we need to resort for a a body to give us the technical expertise. Uh, so uh, I'd like to say this part is really super weak, if I may say. And uh, the reports that we have, uh, things are really it's shameful when it comes to the technical dimensions. And uh, this is a thing that's really, uh, in fact, uh, a, a pain in the in the uh, in the back for uh, the different people. And in fact, uh, any manufacturers now, it's everybody is uh, the, everybody wants to do the right thing. But the problem is that uh, in uh, the reports, uh, uh, the technical reports, uh, uh, the reports are really uh, stipulating very bad things. In fact, uh, when uh, so, for example, if you have, for example, a CV uh, and. Uh, for example, a specific TV, and they go to the EUs or the Authority for Standardization, and then, you know, sometimes the technical ref reference bodies are not that much uh, well versed with what they are doing. Uh, and we were speaking about uh, also uh, uh, previously about some initiatives, and as manufacturers, we were ready to work on some of these, uh, what, uh, some of these aspects, and we were ready to provide even equipment and everything that would, because this would help us as manufacturers. We need some, uh, it was a governmental body, not private sector. But so the biggest problem or the biggest pitfall in this law is that you don't have technical reference. Uh, also, the Ministry of Supplies, I don't see any relevance between the ministry and uh, this thing. Even whenever you are going to uh, any technical inspection authority, it's AUS, it is the, uh, the technical regulation authority or other authorities, all under the Ministry of Industry or MTI, Ministry of Trade and Industry. So it's not relevant at all to the Ministry of Supplies. To me personally, if it's to go to any ministry, the Ministry of Trade and Industry. This needs to be the ministry. Also, when, with regard to the new piece of legislation, as what has been said by Mr. Shen, yes, there are so many good things that uh, we really asked for and we really want it to have. But also there are things that we think uh, that it's really difficult to enforce. For example, Mr. Hisham was speaking about uh, when you are painting your house, such a kind of services, if they can complain, who would be telling me this is a good kind of finishing or bad finishing? What is the technical authority that would come to me tell me this is right or wrong? Also, uh, the, uh, I think the composition of the board of the authority the, or the representation. We need some technical representation in the board itself. The technical representation is only three bodies, the representative of the Federation of Egyptian Industries if it, and the representative of the Ministry of Industry and the, the Food Safety Authority. These are uh, the three technical bodies. The rest of the board, in fact, are all 
different associations under the Ministry of uh, Ministry of Supplies. And at the end of the day, let me say that what happens on the ground is that is the chairperson making decision. There are any objections. The objections only come from those three most of the time, the three technical ones. And uh, and that's why the things are, things are not working. Because, in fact, uh, sometimes we... I'll give you examples. I can give you so many examples. For example, the largest portion and before this before this uh, when we receive any complaints 95 uh, percent uh, they are solved uh, internally between the authority and the manufacturer uh, previously it was even less the percentage of such solutions were even less but I'd like to say that this authority the consumer protection authority is really a distinctive distinguished one because it has a good human uh, cadre working there they can solve the problems like automatically when uh, through dealing with the manufacturer Previously, in fact, factories were not giving due attention to whatever being said by the Consumer Protection Authority. We had a problem of communication with them. So the problem happens and people are just, uh, they, they uh, turn... Um, like uh, they turn a deaf ear to it uh, and then uh, they, uh, even they do not report to the uh, top management in the factory. So personally, let me say... Uh, uh, th this is the problem it happens and uh, sometimes uh, in, in fact I personally at some point I found some complaint against me personally because nobody told me about it and I told him you, you're gonna be kidding me is this is a complaint against me uh, uh, in one of the factories anyway uh, so uh, in fact, let me say to be fair that the uh, uh, the customer uh, consumer uh, protection takes customer for uh, granted, and in fact, they cause raised quality in many manufacturing facilities. For example, uh, ceramic, and um, sometimes uh, y y they give it to you and find like different colors and different shades. Uh, the the consumer protection now we tell them, take it off, put another uh, uh, high quality one and everything at your expense as an, a supplier. So uh, this had not been there before. And one of the examples, one woman went to somebody uh, who told her, uh, I want 20, 20 meters. He told her, I want another five uh, to complete uh, some kind of uh, cover for your uh, for y her uh, living room. And then she said, well, what can I do then? I need five, uh, the same color. And let me say, sometimes marriages were broken and engagement were broken because of, of th because sometimes people, mm, uh, uh, they, have, they have problem and people want to return back the furniture they have bought for the new, uh, supposed to be happily married. Uh, uh, couple but it doesn't work so and uh, sometimes they tell us uh, things that uh, this the kind of uh, they say to you that this wood X uh, is not uh, well and then you find that it's a totally different type of wood and also the issue of uh, use and abuse uh, we have a deceased uh, colleague uh, in fact uh, he said that the law uh, uh, is not differentiating between uh, the previous law, the overall law that does not differentiate or uh, between uh, a body who is uh, uh, buying a, uh, a socks, some socks and somebody who is buying a car. How can uh, 14 days he would go and get it to be licensed by the traffic authorities and then how it would return to me after 14 days, uh, after working with it, for t using it for 14 days, a car. So again, also, there are some pressures that maybe uh, and influences that maybe um, uh, that maybe the consumer authority may be under it or subject to it at some point of time. For example, we had some of uh, at some point two deans of uh, the faculties of law, and they were of uh, really really critical importance for us because they were uh, very good uh, providing us with the uh, legal uh, dimension. Because when you receive the complaint, uh, it needs to be in the period uh, during the period of guarantee, whether the um, manufacturing guarantee or the maintenance guarantee but beyond the guarantee this is not our role but the new piece of legislation it is obliging them to provide spare parts for a specific time and the minister of industry would say uh, so for example if you buy a fridge for example so the law would stipulate that they need to provide you with the spare parts for 10 years this 10 years would be identified by the minister of industry but this was not there because what was there in the past is that only the guarantee period another problem that we always face is uh, the uh, 
what we call the random importing people go import anything and then they find no spare parts nothing no services no maintenance nothing at all so engineer talk had worked on some things in relation to the capital of uh, the importing and exporting uh, companies but in fact personally speaking anybody who is buying any product uh, to be consumed they need to have a service to own it not to rent it because the law says they can rent no this can be fooling also at some point you can fool the consumer by this rented for some time and then it's not there anymore no they need to own it so that even after the guarantee elapses the period of the guarantee elapses what what's after five years if i need a spare part as a consumer i need to go somewhere also there are th uh, some things that we face the problem with and it is in this uh, uh, was not there before if you are buying something for example a fridge or a washing machine and this is something that we have had a person had bought uh, uh, a fridge and he's living in Arish and it was in the guarantee he was telling you send me somebody in Arish we can't Arish is some place in Sinai so in South Sinai in particular so the new piece of legislation tells you that or stipulates that you go to the consumer the outreach issue you go to the consumer and bring it uh, in and bring it back after being repaired and in fact this is really problematic because if you are buying something if you are in Arish buy from Arish but I will not uh, what what if somebody from Cairo bought, bought something from Cairo and they are in Upper Egypt I think this is not fair if we are telling the uh, the supplier to go there to Upper Egypt, bring it and then bring it back, uh, send it back. Also, one of the things, uh, uh, the community, the ICT issue. In fact, the, uh, I know uh, that there is a piece, of another piece of legislation that is stipulating uh, uh, some issues because we have uh, uh, the communication authority, regulation authority. In fact, uh, they uh, they uh, we send them complaints. And they never even respond to us. Uh, sometimes people have problems like, for example, they receive bills of the phone for one year while they don't receive a service or bill for internet for one year and th they don't receive any internet services. This is something that I, don't, I didn't see in the, in the stipulations, but you say it's there. Also, another thing that I'm not happy with this piece of legislation is uh, the so resources of uh, the authority. It is... Um, I think uh, it said that they need to be, be given a specific percentage of the fines they impose. This is a conflict of interest. You c this is applied previously in customs and it caused so many problems. And I would be telling you something about my experiences. Uh, when we are, when with reconciliation and fines, usually we deal w uh, based on the maximum. And sometimes it was not worthy, really, that you cause people to incur all such amount of money. But usually, because some people, it, it, may, it, might, it might be done inadvertently, I mean, uh, involuntarily, on uh, un purposefully, and people are coming to you saying, we apologize, and then you tell them, pay the maximum. The good thing about this law is that it's very specific in this. Uh, it has the specifications. Before uh, adjudication, it's a specific fine. After adjudication, it's another thing. But the not so good thing is that the uh, Consumer Protection Authority would get a percentage of uh, such fines because it's a conflict of interest. It's a clear one. Also, the law, uh, in fact, um, previously we had faced things. It's not legal, in fact. It's illegal, if I may say. For example, or not so legal. And this has uh, relevance to the composition of the board itself. For example. We had received a problem, one of the cars, uh, during the guarantee period, the, the tire, it was a flat, a flat tire, and there was no spare tire. And people dramatize it when they are talking to you about it. The woman comes, she says, I had a flat tire, and we had like uh, like seven women in the board, and people are like, oh, this is was really, a, this is a poor condition, and things like this. So... Uh, uh, because it was a p uh, there were things in fact but the woman in fact used the uh, the tire and walked uh, or drive the car drive the car uh, with the, uh, with a flat tire and the tire was cut and people were saying um, we would analyze it some people were saying it no because it's used after being a flat tire already and this tire 
is a, one of the 10 standards to to, to which as uh, uh, manufacturers we uh, are abiding by because it's tested it's 10 standards that are uh, obligatory uh, obligatorily tested so these are things that are really like sort of uh, provocative for the manufacturers. They say, I will not go to the court because at the end of the day, judges work based on documents and based on as a paperwork thing and document thing. And, uh, and the, and, 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 you know, uh, you know that 99.9% .9 had been, uh, had taken a sentence in favor of, or the ruling was in favor of the consumer in such cases. And, and it's really uh, painful for the manufacturers in some cases. Uh, so, this is, um, in brief, my experiences uh, that I have faced. Another point, the real estate issue, Mr. Hisham. I was, in fact, when previously uh, the real estate issue was in relation to the delivery problems, deliver, delivery dates. Because they tell you, I'll hand it over to you in the year 2019 and give it to you 2025. And we all face this. When we spoke about it, they said real estate is not a product, is not a commodity, is not a, uh, a service. I think that this is something that needs to be handled uh, because, um, in fact, in fact, the, states, uh, the state needs to do something about this. Uh, and there's a conflict of interest because uh, some authorities are selling apartments. So I think that the, all the contract, all contractual relationships needs to be part and parcel of such a protection for the consumer, including the handover or delivery dates. Also, with regard to the authority for consumer protection, yes, there is a big evolution that's happening. Now they have six branches, six uh, like uh, provincial offices. But as they are so much short-handed, and so so they have uh, uh, like taped uh, calls, and they have so, and sometimes you call them, and they are, and if you call them several times, and you find that the line is busy all the time, they know that, uh, so it's recorded that you try to call them, and nobody picked up, so they try to call you afterwards. Uh, so. Uh, the period issue. I think that the the, the uh, time of making decision or uh, making the decision or uh, the resolution in relation to uh, the uh, kind of disputes. So dispute timelines. It was uh, said. I think here it's 30 days, but sometimes it's not easy. And I know some at some points people were like uh, 10 days, day and night in the offices so that they would be able to finish. Also, with regard to, for the consumer, this legislation is a good thing, in fact. And for the manufacturer, still it's a good thing. Dr. Abla, you have said something about the standards. This is a catastrophe, a mere catastrophe, particularly for cars. In Egypt, we are like the testing lab for Chinese cars, jelly, veli, meli, and then you, they disappear. And then you find the catastrophes because you, uh, the, the standards are not in place. Let me say something, the standards that are here, that are there in relation to safety. It's safety oriented and environment oriented standards. So all the standards on vehicles or 90% are standards. These are really, this is um, an important thing. All the st ma safety means consumer. And so we had some standards and then they spoke about other 10 standards. And it's really costly for a manufacturer to incorporate it. But it is only applicable to the local product, which is really to be favored. And they, they forget about the imported products. And we are waiting another catastrophe, which is that the vehicles that are coming from uh, some countries with whom we have uh, FTAs or free trade uh, agreements, uh, this is also a problematic thing that we will be facing in relation to the competition. It is something which is really important that it needs to be, something needs to be done about it. Also, the executive regulation. I agree with you from. 100%. In meetings, uh, we had been there. We know that. Uh, just the the, the I always we always learn that when things when we are stuck with any problem, the the body uh, just uh, b beside you just tells you uh, whispers to you, 
form a committee and this means a solution in itself because you kill the issue when you say we will have a committee so we are waiting the regulation thanks mr hamdi just one comment in relation to the communication sector uh, you tell they you send them uh, complaints and they never respond back this is the same problem we institute we need institutional reform because the regulator of uh, the econo the the communication authority is the minister of communication himself you cannot be the defendant and complainant in one case you cannot be because if you are uh, or the judge and the defendant in in the same case so this is really uh, something which is also important yes the new law is this not applicable but uh, the issue of real estate is really important and in many cases when uh, the uh, consumer uh, protection authority when they receive anything about real estate they say this is not um, in our mandate and then you tell so whose mandate then you never know so you go to the court you don't have another place to go